we are looking at a family vlogger channel. The Prince family. Family vloggers shouldn't exist. They just shouldn't exist. I almost like get nauseated when I even think about reacting or making a video on channels like this. It's just like, it's like bottom of the barrel almost. If you're a YouTuber commentary person, it's like, I got no topics. What the, what the hell do I cover? Well, family vloggers still suck. So why not? These three videos from a month ago in a row, which is crazy. Someone broke into our house and stole everything. Followed up by we're homeless. Followed up by the Prince family official house tour with a price tag for 15 million on it. What is the timeline here? What could have possibly happened? You're telling me you got robbed, you're homeless, and then you have a mega mansion. These thumbnails are fucking crazy. <laughs> Not this one, but the fact this homeless one where they got the two kids on the street and they got a help sign. These fuckers make millions of dollars. That's a crazy thumbnail. All right, let's check it out, huh? Someone broke into our house and stole everything. Wow, this is crazy. They stole this. Okay, let's see what else they took. It's, it's, it's almost certain that it's going to delay it. I'm, I'm not sure about the, the details of it. We heard that it was... It's it just was a, little hook, a little hook intro. Order another one. Me and mom got some news to tell y'all. Somebody came to our house and stole stuff out of our house. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. How you guys doing? What's up? We're not really doing okay. I know I'm not. Yeah, I'm not doing the greatest today. But if y'all knew what happened, Prince fam, we're doing the family. We are on a roll, but I know our energy seemed kind of off. <laughs> it's not like, hey, no, it's not hype. Yes, right we're supposed to be closing our. Oh, I could do that. I could do that now. What's our energy not like? Is our energy not like? Hey, God, these effects are gonna change everything. In our new house very, very soon. We've been building for- Over a year. Over a year. And we're just so close. And it just seems like the devil working overtime. It's like oh. the closer you get to closing, the more stuff keeps happening. They just keep happening. Like they are closing on a house that they have been building for a year. Obviously not them. They've never touched anything in their life that's physical. They just, everything's taken care of. Outside of their physical bodies, everything is done for them. They are mega fucking rich. They've been building house for a year and suddenly the devil's working overtime what the what the devil's working overtime but he's in a lamborghini the devil wants to take us down like why do we get the hardest role every time it's like god gave us the hardest role like man and nothing comes easy god gave us the hardest role nothing comes easy they might have quite literally without exaggerating the easiest job in the entire world filming not you you don't even have to film you you just gotta film your kids. You just gotta film your kids. That is your job. You have the almost the easiest role in society. I mean, my role might be, I guess, easier watching you film your kids, but let's not make that argument. I'm not in the Lamborghini right now. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm so pissed off right now. I'm just so, I'm so angry, man. So we received a so call. Wait, so why are they angry again? So they're building a house and they got robbed. There shouldn't be anything in the house yet, but okay. This morning from the builder and they said that somebody came over and stole some stuff out of our house. They stole materials that's supposed to get installed in our house mm -hmm. he didn't tell us what it was right so they stole materials from your house not your stuff just materials and they didn't even tell you what it was so what did they steal did they even steal stuff you own or did they just stole building materials that you probably have insurance for if not you haven't actually bought yet. It's the company building the house. So not your stuff. To the crib, we about to go in there Check and see. Out. You said what? Check it out. Check it out, see what was stolen. And it's obviously not good because we're supposed to be closing like very, 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 soon. very, 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 very soon. And this could potentially mess up our closing. Yeah, because- Delay everything. Oh. If something's stolen, if it's something important, the house basically isn't finished. Yep, and we can't <laughs> close on the house. Oh God, oh, that's awful. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, the devil's working overtime. God gives you the hardest role in the world. Oh, that's awful. You currently have a house. You're in a Lamborghini and you have to delay the closing on your next mega mansion. Oh, the, the house that you're buying, profiting off your kids. Oh, that's, I'm so sorry, Prince fam. Finish, like, exactly. Who buy an unfinished house? Who close on an unfinished house? You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't, don't even think the builder would know. Not me. We always go through stuff, bro. Like, I don't understand. I just don't understand what happened to us. It's never ending. It's not one comment. It's the entire rant. They think they're the, the most miserable people on God's green earth. We don't deserve this. What happened again? People stole materials from your finished house that you don't even own yet. Everybody got a story to tell. Nobody's life perfect, but it's just like, bro, just don't understand, man. It's just annoying. So anyway, you ready to go in here? Yeah. And see what was going on? Let's go see what. Yeah, let's see what they stole. I mean, how can we even see what they stole? We don't even know. <laughs> like, it's not gonna be there, so. The sad music. Oh my God, look at them. Oh, they're walking into their mega mansion they're about to close on. Oh. Yep. 
Wow, this is crazy. They sold this. Okay, let's see what else they took. Even a hook's gone. What do you mean? See what? What did they take? You didn't show us. Bro just went into a bathroom and said, "Oh fuck, they stole this. Oh, that was a lot of money. This thing that's not in front of me. I guess it could be the sink, maybe." <sighs> <laughs> he's like, he's like even like looking around at places where you couldn't even like steal something. Like looking, this eye line right now is just at the ceiling. There's nothing up there that could have been stolen. Oh, what? Oh, dude. We had materials up there. Oh, they really got us good. Fuck. Even a hook's gone. I just don't think that's done yet. I don't think these people robbed your house that's not built yet and took two little knobs on your drawers. <laughs> This is the only thing they've shown that they can find the house. They're like, oh, I guess we could say that was stolen. That's definitely just not finished yet, but you know. Damn, they even took our, our drawers, our drawer hinges, and then they leave. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> that was it. That was everything. That was a haul. These guys got away with a lot. He's really taking it in, too. He's really thinking about it. He's just like, I'm sad. Better stop bullying these poor victims. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm landing on a little thick. They did just get robbed. Multiple things were stolen, man. <laughs> So unspecific. Multiple things were stolen, man. You know, opposed to when I get robbed, they only steal one thing. So weird. The builder said they came by. It was guys dressed in all black around 2 a.m., 3 a.m. 3 a.m. with book bags. Book bags, 3 a.m. They got cameras outside their house. They usually have cameras on new construction houses. Mm -hmm. Wow, thieves. <laughs> Even she couldn't really keep it straight. Wow, thieves. I can't fathom it. Wow, thieves. So me and Bay, we decided to do something to take the stress away. Oh, yeah? You know what I'm saying? So let me get this door for you. Yes. You're welcome, Bay. I told him we decided to do something to take the stress away for the moment. Yeah, this is definitely going to take the stress away from me, you know, beating your butt. What? Did you did you just break your purse? No, I didn't break it. It just fell apart a little bit. Wait, what, what is this? Hold on. It's Coach. Oh, it's I thought this Chanel. was Chris. Oh, I thought it was Christian Dior. Oh. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. We put off the lamb chop today. Mm-hmm. And it feels so good outside. It does. It Could there be any worse switch in tone to go from oh my god i'm so sad we just got robbed guys this is this is the worst to hey wife hop out of the lambo is that a coach bag or christian dior <laughs> i don't care we're rich it's a blessed day it's amazing do you not remember what you just said in the last clip with the sad music it feels amazing right now yeah so we just put up the main event and i'm about to expose you right we'll see about that you know the score will tell no lies all right y'all so we at main event right now and what's wrong with this picture what do you mean what's wrong with this picture? Look at all these cars. Weekday, you think people would be in school or at work or something, but no. Man, it's people, like nobody goes to work here. Nobody goes to work. <laughs> like, I thought people go to school. I thought people... Go to work. Go to work. But apparently, they just... They don't. These aren't the worst people ever. <laughs> Are these are the most tone deaf people ever. I have not jumped around any videos yet. This is the same video. Are they not the most tone deaf people I could ever fathom? Like faking a robbery, acting all sad, then pulling up in the Lambo, we're rich as fuck. Hey, these fuckers got jobs. These people are just going to bowling alley on a, on a Tuesday in the middle of the day. Apparently it's deep today because it's a holiday. Columbus Day. How do you even know? So I'm like, dang. And that's why the people are there. It's Columbus Day. You fucking idiot. You don't even know the holidays because every day is a holiday for the Prince fan. The rest of their video they just do vlog stuff and it's like obviously the clickbait part was somebody broke into our house they like layer that in with like just fun hanging out <laughs> I, watch it. Ah. Oh, I did a little effect there too i could do that too i can also do that okay sorry i'm becoming them i'm becoming them too fast i didn't rob their house it wasn't me uh i, I know it looks bad right now i didn't steal their corner shower walls don't say blackface okay maybe we'll, okay we're not going to use this one again protect my career here so yeah we kind of skip around they're doing their own little family vlog stuff and then they layer that back in between that they're Are you playing? playing having a good time back to the car oh man so right now guys it's raining outside and as y'all can see on the window her window is raining and i'm still sad what are you sad about um, our house. Oh. <laughs> yeah, aren't we? Aren't we both? Did you uh, forget about that? Uh, no, I mean, I didn't forget, but... I think she legit did. I think she forgot the point of the video. It's like, yeah, our the fake robbery that we just talked about. Babe, we did some bowling, but you can't forget about the robbery. Why are we sad? What's our motivation again? I mean, you say you sad, but 
but you know, I was just trying to make sure that you was all right. All right, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this morning we're going to get our nails done, our feet done. Yeah, because oh, cool. Right back to more rich people shit. Dope. Still so sad. So we're gonna go get manicures and pedicures after we just did bowling all day. By the way, do these fuckers have jobs? Couple that, they get their whole manicures, whatever. Back to being sad. Finally back at the crib. We got our toes done. How you feeling right now? My toes feel good, so that's all that matters. They feel soft. Yeah, mine feel very clean, man. Guys, get y'all butt up. Go with y'all grill to get y'all toes clean. So we was at the nail shop. We received the update about our house from the builder. And we got some horrible, unusual news. Uh, so first, when is it not horrible? How face battles? for God's bravest soldiers. It's just non-stop bad news. What could happen now? Okay, so first of all, the builder told us someone broke into our house at 3 a.m., had on all black with book bags, and stole some stuff. Stole some stuff. So they news. ordered a new truck. I was supposed to come this morning. Tell them what happened, baby. What happened? We can't even make this up, y'all. We can't even make, we can show y'all the like, message. This is like not BS, like this is for real. Because before we were lying our asses off, is how that line comes off to me. I mean, this, this time we're telling the truth. Our stuff. That's on the truck is gone. It's gone. We can't locate the truck. Well, not us, the builder. Double they can't robbed. Locate, they can't get in touch with the driver. It's gone. Like it's it's, it's gone, man. It's like the guy who's. Oh my God, the brutality. Also, still the stuff that isn't really theirs. They haven't even bought the house yet. They're closing on it, so it's materials for a house that they haven't even bought yet. You wouldn't buy them to go into a house and then close on it. They bought a house to be built. The building company has insurance on the materials. They haven't lost any money. They're fine. And even if they did. You just made fucking, what is this, $8,000? With all the stuff on the truck, like. Yep, so the builder contacted the manufacturer and the manufacturer said they can't locate the truck, yeah. the driver, or they don't know where our material is. They said that our material was on the truck this morning out for delivery. That's what the person said. And now, they don't know where the truck's at. Yeah. But it was on the truck, but yep. now it's not, like. And it's four hours later, and they still don't have no idea. No update. Or, yeah, this so. is the worst thing that has ever happened to us in the last five minutes. We are devastated. This is awful. We can't even make this up. So pretty much, we just asked out right now. Like, yeah, which means more delays, more delays, more delays. But honestly, to be honest with y'all, I think they're giving us the runaround, man. Yeah, I feel like somebody's lying. Somebody's lying. Or some Something didn't get ordered. You know what? Good. Even if it's real, fuck you guys. I hope they stole your shit. I I hope they double robbed you. And I hope someone. I hope they come back for the third day. Keep robbing their shit. Fuck it. You guys piss me off. I don't know. Something is going on. But we cannot get into that house until we have our stuff. Yep. Because the house is. The house is not complete. From the appraisal company, the house is not complete because we got some stuff that's not even installed yet. Yeah. So. And they and they they caught everything that wasn't installed, and they was like, no, we're we're not approving. We're not approving of this. I'm trying to show them this message. Look. Look at this. Read that. It says, uh, blocked out probably details that would make this look worse for them, is my guess. I feel like they're blocking out some crucial details here about what the materials are. They sent the sink out for delivery this morning. They don't know why it hasn't been delivered yet and for some odd reason can't locate their own truck or driver. So it literally might just be a, a van with the sink. Why? I don't know if they're fucking lying still. Who knows? It doesn't really matter. Even if they are, fucking worst people ever about this. It hasn't been delivered yet. And for some odd reason, we cannot locate their own truck and drive. That don't even make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. Comment down below. Is it cap or what? Are they capping or are they giving us a run around or what? What do you think? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just so over it. I want to believe them. Yeah, I want to. I mean, it sounds real. Kind of. But at the same time, it's like, now all of a sudden, all this stuff is happening. Do you think our stuff really was even stolen? That's what I'm questioning. Place? I'm like, was it even really stolen or did y'all forget to order? Hold on, motherfuckers. Maybe they said they didn't see it, but did you not just say there was security footage with guys wearing black masks with backpacks? Did you not see it or not? I, I guess maybe the, the builders told them that. Get that footage. Stuff Because it's like, we don't have proof. You said this happened. You said you seen it, but and then let me remind y'all we actually ordered everything for the, well we actually picked out all our selections for the house mm -hmm. in 2022 in the summer over a year ago in the summertime 2022 so everything should have been here been okay. here. whatever yeah but rich people all right guys it so is later in the all right now let's make money from our kids real fast good job anyway man how was your day today bro good. how was school uh, yeah, how'd you learn today today he brain. Oh, our kids are so cute. Oh, yeah. yes, this isn't, a, this isn't exploitation. This is awesome. Now, let's tell our kids about the fact that we got robbed, even though this does not matter at all. But we got to sit our kids down, all five of them, to tell them this awful news that we got our materials robbed that isn't ours. Me and mom got some news to tell y'all, and it's not really good at all. Well, y'all know how we're supposed to be moving, right? Y'all know how we've been building for a long time, right? Somebody came to our house at Yes, at 3 a.m., wearing all black with book bags and stole stuff out of our house.
and it was me. <laughs> this ski mask I could put on. It's okay. The other one was, yeah, that, the other one wasn't great. You don't have nothing in the house. No. So like my Good point, kid. Calls his parents out. Oh, dad, we don't got anything in the house. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, this is the YouTube thing? Oh, my bad. Oh, no, dad. Oh, we're going to be homeless. No. Material. You know how like, they're building and they have a chair, for example, like a tub, a sink, a light fixture, or oh, stuff like that. light fixtures? Oh, no. They went into your new built mansion and stole light bulbs? Oh, what a fortune they're going to make. Like that, you know, like material. Material stuff. Yeah. They came in and stole it. <gasps> Can I build another one? No. Well, they could order more, but how long is that going to take? A, a week. A no, long time. a long time because we order stuff a Over year ago. A year ago. <laughs> Both kids. Both kids have called him out now. The other kid's like, wait, hold on, you just reorder that shit, right? He's like, wait, hold on, you can't just re reorder it? They're like, no, 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 buddy, it's gonna take a long time. It's gonna take a really long time because they're specific fixtures. Even though that we got a van to bring them back in after we got robbed the first time, remember that lie? We got robbed twice now. We actually, we kind of caught the parents in a lie there. They were able to reorder the stuff pretty fast, but suddenly, no, no, it's gonna take a long time, buddy. And now it was delaying us from moving into our new house because somebody broke in and stole stuff. Wow. So we we can't move in. Hold we'll on, it by like a week or we two. We can't move in until we get this situation. It's not gonna take a result. year. So we thought we just let y'all know. How y'all feel about it? Dad. Why how sad? Some things will, yeah, some things will take a while to reorder, but the way that they said it before, some stuff got stolen, they reordered it, it was on a van, van got lost. They're gonna reorder it and get their shit in two weeks. I'm you said what, DJ? I'm going to pool and move in. Yeah, we want to be in a pool. So it's been a long time yeah, since we've been in a pool because we don't have a pool here. But uh, we had the floaty, like or the inflatable pool. Yeah. All right, so now that's that video. The fact that they got robbed and stole everything. If by stole everything, you meant everything in the house, which was nothing. Let's move to video number two. In this trilogy, dare I say, that could only rival, that's right, The Dark Knight. I had that joke ready. Okay, we're homeless. That sucks. How did that happen? You got robbed in your new house and now you're homeless. You had two houses and now you, you're on the street with your kids begging for help. Kind of trivializing homeless people a little bit. Our new crib got robbed we're not even in there yet. How do we get robbed and we're not even in the crib yet? That's what I'm like, wondering. How can you think like you're asking my questions right now. Positive if all negative stuff is happening to us. What happened out there? You was out there playing? What happened? <laughs> oh! Oh! What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. How you guys doing? I'm not really doing okay. But if you're new to the channel, subscribe right now and join the family. Man. When is he ever doing okay? When is he ever doing okay? He's always sad. Family, man. So today, 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 we got some sad news. Some extremely oh. sad news. But we got to say what's up to the beautiful wife right over here. We got news that's so sad. It's really, really sad. So sad. I'm priming you right now for how sad it's going to be. What's up, guys? I'm doing literally just all right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Just blah. My eyes look watery still. Oh, oh. they're, oh, you've been crying you've been crying over this uh, tearing up a little bit ago before i started to vlog and uh pretty much we got some some extremely devastating news yeah. so we're potentially going to be homeless so right potentially with a vine boom sound behind it <laughs> seems like a little bit of the wrong time to throw that sound effect in there but potentially i guess good on you for clarifying that what how potentially we're potentially going to be homeless guys i yeah. lost the house vine <laughs> Let's just grab it now. Let's just grab it now so editor Nick doesn't actually have to do any work. Yeah, guys, we're getting a divorce. Why did you have to follow at the same time for the Taco Bell sound effect, motherfucker? Anyways, guys, my dog's not gonna make it. My grandma's not gonna make it. My grandma killed my dog and then my dog killed my grandma. There's problems in the Middle East. Fine, boom sound. I mean, I don't know what else to say. So y'all know if y'all watched our other vlogs, our house we were supposed to already close on two months ago, but delays and delays and delays kept Caught happening. The and then somebody came in our crib, stole some materials. We still delayed our house even more. But the reason why we're going to be potentially homeless is because the house that we're in right now, we was selling it. So we have to be out this house in a certain time for the new buyer to take over it. And we were supposed to be in our other house by now. So pretty much. Like we have to clear this house all the way out. So the, like you said, the new buyer. Okay, so you guys are using homeless in the most loose, loose definition possible. I think you really might be trivializing the way that homelessness is, is typically 
used, but you're saying that you, by definition, will not have your home when you sell one and can't move into the other. They could live in a home. They could literally rent any home they want, probably for the rest of their lives with how much money they have. I'm not exaggerating when I think by the math, they make $500,000 a month. I can get in and the other house isn't done, so where are we gonna go? <laughs> we got other houses, but it's occupied by tenants and stuff, so. <laughs> <laughs> Had to throw that in there. Where are we gonna go? I mean, well, we got six more houses, but uh, we rented them to some fucking filthy low life tenants. So, I mean, I guess we could evict those those people though. I guess we could. We got other houses, but uh, we're home. We're homeless as fuck, actually. We got so many houses, but we're so homeless. We didn't, we didn't think this day was, you know, we didn't think this was gonna happen. Like we thought everything was gonna be a smooth ride. The new people got to get this house. It was gonna be in our house. Everything was gonna be cool. Yeah, cause we already had a closing date and everything. Again, we always have to go the hardest road. Uh, uh, every time we had a closing date we had a reschedule it is insane it is insane the pity party they're throwing for themselves they are the most unaware people ever it is ridiculous oh god god is just he is testing us every day god he god hates us our closing day because of the situation that happened and it's still not fixed so we ain't tell the kids or nothing like that the kids not with us right now and we have to go to u-haul place to get some moving boxes because we have to be out this what do you got to tell the kids we're taking a vacation for two weeks that's all you got to say you can tell the kids we're literally going to go on vacation for two weeks and you have the money to fly around the world if you wanted to you're fine Off in a certain time and yeah, sell it to the new buyers and um yeah we don't know what to do right now so <laughs> Only thing we can do, I guess, is try to continue to be positive. You know, I mean, I guess that's all tough. we can do. Try to, you know, understand that God does have our back. But in times like now. this, how can you think like that? How can you try to be positive if all negative stuff is happening to us? Yeah, man. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not for sure. So just guys, go down the comment section and just pray for us, man. Just pray for us. We don't know what we're going to do. And we haven't told the kids anything yet. So we just trying to oh wrap our hands around everything. Pray for them. We got to send our prayers up to the Prince family for potentially not having a home for two weeks. By the definition of home, I suppose, if we're talking about ownership. You know what? That is a waste of a prayer. That is a waste of a prayer. God is going to look at those prayers and be like, nah, what do you mean you're, pr you're praying for the Prince fam? They're going to be up in heaven be like why do we have so many prayers coming in for the prince fam what's their issue they have two mega mega mansions and they're, they're selling them at different times that's the problem what do we mean we're praying these could be used anywhere else for anybody famine hunger but I, it works it works look at this shit look at this shit stay positive i will always be there for you heavenly father hopefully that everyone is happy safe and healthy you can do this don't worry if you're going through this don't worry jesus will always be by your side sending prayers christians pick your battles pick the people that you're supporting it can't be these fuckers so many other people deserve your prayers that aren't going to do anything please for god's sakes i don't even know what we're praying for we're praying that the house closes faster that you don't get robbed a third time i don't even know i think and figure it all out so you ready to go to the u-haul place all right, let's go. All right, guys. So we just pulled. So you ready to go to the place where we're gonna move our stuff in the in the time period in between? Oh. Up to the U-Haul place. You ready for this? Not really, but I have to be. All right, let's go. So yep, yeah, just more vlog stuff. It's literally the same format as the other vid. Silly vlog, fun time stuff, and then in between they layer it with you know the devastating news of their homelessness. Kid vlogging time. Oh, he lost his tooth. Oh, awesome, awesome. We're a happy big family. We're an amazing family. Um, and we're sad again. All right, guys. Um, we just received some more bad news about the house. It never. So we were just trying to uplift ourselves and trying to have better spirit. We didn't tell the kids yet what was going on. They over there and just having fun. And we decided to cook dinner. So right. Right now we are cooking some tacos on like 10% energy because it's not really it's not really our day i don't know like so now our i don't even want to talk about it oh do you not really want to talk about it oh you don't really want to talk about it now because i i think you turned on the camera to specifically talk about it i'm just so annoying man so pretty much we have to wait till next week to get an answer to figure out what's going on with the house the next delay. week you could get robbed five more times by then we already started packing up what is this stuff for the kitchen babe this stuff is fragile y'all see fragile this is his cup Call all right, and now we're gonna bring you to the conclusion here. All of this trauma, all of this awfulness that the Prince family has experienced, begging for prayers. Let's end our trilogy off here. The Prince family official house tour. One video after we're homeless, we got an hour and 18 minute house tour. If you can do a house tour that's over an hour long, your house is too big. A mega mansion that they spend an hour going through. Absolutely ginormous. Closets on closets. It's giant fucking oh, open so foyer. Good. I love it. You know what I mean? Gold faucet, the finish. Gold faucet. Oh, shame the robbers didn't get this. That would have been a steal. Damn. Three. 
God really just, you know, gives us such a hard role, you know? The devil is working overtime, as he said. The devil is working overtime. Well, if that's the case, hey, demon, hey, devil, Satan, give me some of that shit, all right? I can take it. I can take it, I swear. And of course, the backyard is just the most rich thing you've ever seen in your life. It is. Oh, my fucking God. Got a fire pit, higher fucking ginormous pool with its own little shower thing in the back. Fire bowls up with the LED lights. Phenomenal. It's Same fucker that said he was going to be homeless in the last video has a fucking chain around his neck that maybe says his name. I don't even know. Waterfall coming down. Y'all gotta see this tonight. It's crazy. Many, like many the fire G's. Up with the LED lights. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Just a crazy trilogy of events from the most out of touch, privileged people I have ever seen. And all of this while all of their money has been made off of vlogging their kids. Lest we not forget. All right, Prince Sam, we're done. <laughs>